If you're a Cinema 4D user, you're gonna like this. So Aaron 4D was just announced by Merck. Essentially, it's an AI render engine that allows you to quickly block out a shape that you want. And once you enter some positive and negative prompts and click render, instantly it gives you something really awesome. Something that normally would take you hours to create, you get it done in seconds, which is really impressive. Now, the only downside to this, it doesn't support any animation. So it's only for single still renders. Right now, it only supported by Windows. So maybe in the future, they'll have something for Mac users. But again, it's still on pre-order. It's still new. I'm sure a lot of you heard this by now, but OpenAI just announced their text to video AI model called Sora. And this thing is unbelievable. The fact that we can get this kind of video from just text prompts is unreal. Look at the reflections. Now, obviously, if you want to look for mistakes, I'm sure you'll find it. Just look at the guy's feet. He's doing something funny. But yeah, it's not perfect. But the fact that we got to this point from just something like, what is it, like 10 months ago, we had Will Smith eating spaghetti. I mean, that was the stuff back then. But we got from here to this point in less than a year. Apple researchers have unveiled a new AI tool called Keyframer. And this one is very interesting. It's basically text to animation AI model. And the way it works, you upload a vector graphic, you tell it to do something, and it will animate it for you. Now, if you want to learn more about this, I'll include the link to this PDF at the bottom of this video. That's not the only thing Apple is doing. It looks like they're also getting into image editing using text. So for example, you'd have an image of a pizza. You can say something like, make it more healthy, and then instantly it'll add vegetables. Or you can say something like, remove the woman in the background right here. And just like that, it'll do it for you. Music Effects is Google's latest experimental AI tool for music creation, and it is amazing. Essentially, it's text to music. You just type your prompts in here, and then click generate, and it'll give you some options right away. It's very awesome. Now, you do have some settings options so you can adjust you can make the track length up to 70 seconds and you can even make it loopable. There's a new AI chatbot called Grok and this thing is super fast. Let me show you the difference. So this is ChatGPT 3.5, which is the free version, but so is this. Now I'm gonna tell it to do the same thing on ChatGPT and Grok and you'll see the difference. So here's ChatGPT. As you can see, it's starting to write me a story. But watch this, as soon as I press this, I'm waiting for it. Instantly, it's done. That's it. So 529 tokens per second while this thing is still working. Big shout out to my very talented friend, Luke Thompson from Action VFX. And he is my go-to source for everything AI. Remember, AI will not replace you, but people that know how to use AI will. So you want to make sure you stay ahead of the game and make sure you follow people like Luke Thompson here. Speaking of Luke Thompson, recently he recommended that I read Scrum, the art of doing twice the work in half the time. So if you haven't read it, I highly recommend that you do because it'll change the way you do things. If you do any kind of coding inside of Visual Studio Code, I highly recommend you check out Codium. This thing is amazing. It's an open source, it's free, and it's an AI-powered code completion tool that has other features. Now, the obvious one is autocomplete. As you write your code in VS, it will automatically give you suggestions, which is awesome. I would have loved to see something like this in After Effects, especially when you write expressions. That would be very useful. Some of you may already know this, but I do have a brother, Dimitri, who is head of production at Epiphio. It's a Cincinnati-based animation studio. They produce some really good work since like 2009, but recently they've been really focusing on publishing free training on YouTube. So if you're looking for more creative educational resources, I highly recommend that you check out their YouTube channel. The date and time is set for Adobe Max 2024, and this time it will be at the Miami Beach Convention Center from October 14th through 16th. If you want to see what the future of broadcast design and animation looks like, you should look no further than Unreal's Project Avalanche. And this thing is, no pun intended, Unreal. You should definitely check out the entire presentation. I'll be sure to include the link at the bottom of this video in the description area. And by the way, here's a fun fact. If you go over here, you'll notice this guy right here. That's my former coworker from Fox Sports, Andy. And Andy is very talented. He has plenty of experience in the broadcast industry. And the fact that he's a part of it makes it even more special. Recently, I posted a video where I show you one of my tools called Smart Animator. And I've gotten so much love from you guys. I just wanna take the time and thank you for all of these amazing comments. I really appreciate your kind words.